Hi there and welcome to this special update about Storm Betty. Named by Erin because the strongest of Betty's winds will be affecting the Republic of Ireland, particularly the far south, but it will also bring wind, rain and some thunderstorms to parts of the UK on Friday night and the first part of Saturday. Now, it's a developing system, and this massive cloud to the southwest of the UK shows up on the satellites early Friday. And Betty is being picked up by a fairly active jet stream and spun up quickly during the rest of Friday as it's hurled towards Ireland and the UK. So an intensifying system, always tricky to get a handle on these things because they intensify so quickly. But nevertheless, it is bringing some lively weather to many areas overnight. The rain is already setting in. This is the rainfall radar at 2 p.m. Rain already setting in across parts of the southwest of England, southwest Wales as well. Some showers ahead of that. We saw some quite lively conditions earlier in the day across central and southern England. But that's petering out ahead of the main event as Betty arrives. And this is the wind gust graphic for the rest of Friday and into Saturday. So the colours here correspond to the key on the right. And what you'll see is uh, the, the winds strengthening to the south of Betty as Betty deepens during the rest of Friday. And this swathe of the strongest winds arriving late Friday evening, early hours of Saturday, really shows up as gusts of 60, 70 miles an hour in some of the most exposed spots around the Isles of Scilly the far southwest of Cornwall, far southwest of Wales, and then North Wales by dawn on Saturday, as well as the southwest of Scotland and parts of eastern Northern Ireland. So it's Irish Sea coast, the far southwest of the UK, not to mention southern parts of the Republic of Ireland, where we're going to see these uh, particularly strong winds overnight, widespread gales, and in some of the more exposed areas, 50, 60, perhaps 70 miles an hour. And those kinds of wind speeds, of course, at this time of year, could cause impacts, a lot of temporary structures have been erected outdoors, people camping, people caravanning and so on. So those winds of concern during Friday evening, they do push through quite quickly. They're accompanied by a spell of heavy rain, that rain sweeping through most of the UK during the night on Friday. You can see here the bright colours indicating some heavy bursts of rain. But a particular focus is late Friday evening and early hours of Saturday across eastern parts of England because all the ingredients are there if they come together to form some serious thunderstorms. Now, if we get these thunderstorms, and as you can see by the various blobs, they're likely to be hit and miss. Not everyone in this area will get a thunderstorm. But where and if they occur, there's the risk of 60 millimetres of rain in just a few hours. There's the risk of two centimetre hail and frequent lightning. Again, that happens late Friday evening, early hours of Saturday. So the saving grace of a lot of this weather is that it's happening overnight when a lot of people will be safely tucked away indoors. But nevertheless, still the potential for some serious impacts from this system. Now, by the end of the night, the rain becomes slow moving across Northern Ireland and Scotland. And it's across much of Northern Ireland and Scotland where we'll see widely 25, 30 millimetres of rainfall accumulating by lunchtime on Saturday. But across the hills of eastern Scotland, so the Mourne Mountains, the Antrim Hills, the Sperrins, there's the risk of 40 to 60, perhaps more millimetres of rain. And likewise, for eastern parts of the Grampians and for the Angus Hills, there's the risk of 40 to 60 millimetres of rainfall. And uh, those kinds of rainfall amounts falling onto relatively soggy ground at the moment could cause some localised flooding and at least some transport disruption as we begin the weekend. By this stage, Saturday morning, Storm Betty's moving up western Scotland, bringing its spells of rain to northern Scotland along with a strengthening wind. And the most unsettled weather by Saturday afternoon really is across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Spells of rain or showers, a blustery wind. It brightens up for England and Wales, the worst of the conditions having moved through overnight. Sunny spells, a few showers into western areas, but actually with the sunshine emerging across East Anglia and the southeast, it's going to be pleasantly warm. And temperatures rising here later in the weekend and the start of next week, while the river weather remains changeable further north and northwest. Much more on social media, of course, but uh, for now, that's all from me. Bye-bye.